CTV Morning Live on location. Today I'm at Passion for Glass, an art gallery in the Beltline, and I'm joined by founder Anna. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Now, Passion for Glass, you opened this gallery almost 11 years ago, and you've really stayed strong uh, all throughout this decade. Uh, art and glass art specifically is really what you feature here. Yes, this, uh, we opened this gallery about 11 years ago. We are so proud to be here. We are so proud to support Albertans uh, artists and uh, definitely glass artists. That's our main focus. We of course have some uh, beautiful paintings from all around Alberta and actually Canada uh, that we are proud to present. And those artists are not just uh, uh, our uh, artists that we feature, they are our friends, we know their story, we know their passion as well. Yes, and you know, this, just one look around this gallery, everything is so beautiful. There's so many different types of glass art, but a lot of the artists that you feature, like you mentioned, are really from Alberta. Many of them have graduated from the Alberta University of the Arts. Absolutely, we have uh, some uh, former uh, Alberta, uh, Alberta, uh, former ACAT uh, student, which is uh, Catherine Russell. We also have uh, Randy Collenbach, which uh, finished uh, a cut a uh, few years ago, and they are still still future in our gallery. Mm -hmm. We are so proud of their accomplishments mm -hmm. and where they are right now. Yeah, and so not only do you feature local artists and Canadian artists, of course, too, you also offer people the opportunity to learn glass art here. Absolutely, lots of people come here to shop and then they learn that we are educational facility. We are representing bullseye glass in Canada, so we are really uh, uh, good about education and we like to welcome every level from professional to just Hobbist here in our Passion for Glass studio. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. There you have it. You'll want to stay with us throughout the morning. We'll show you all different types of glass art and just how easy it really is to get involved. But for now, more information, you can visit passionforglass.ca. CTV Morning Live on location. Today, I'm at Passion for Glass Art Gallery here in the Beltline, and I'm joined by Jonathan now. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Thanks for welcoming us in. Now, Passion for Glass, we know, is an art gallery. We've seen a lot of the beautiful pieces. You teach art glass and uh, to students, but you also offer materials. You're your distributor. Exactly. Yeah, a big part, of course, being in the uh, glass world is mm -hmm. lots of glass. <laughs> you really, really need to consume a lot. Yeah. So uh, a lot of your products here, this is bullseye glass uh, out from the States. Now this in my hand, this is Frit. This is just a finely ground glass there. What is it, this used for? Exactly. So an artist may decide that they need, for instance, some leaves on a tree, mm -hmm. as in the tree of life. So with this piece, we take that frit, frit and sprinkle it around, of course, and the effect becomes That's like incredible. leaves on the tree. It looks like a painting. So exactly, a lot of people, a lot of artists, actually get into painting with frit. It's almost yeah, hard to definitely. fathom how these raw materials can turn into something so beautiful. For example, these rods. Yes, the rods. There's uh, rods here. Now this is just orange, but it, mm -hmm. they become multicolored. You can get all kinds of colors. And again, it's maybe hard to fathom, but those rods can become something wow. like that. That's incredible. And there's a rod class actually just coming up, <laughs> as it turns out. So, so if yeah, you're looking you learn to learn about to... rod glass, exactly. you'll want to sign up. And yeah. of course, sheets of glass too, some very incredibly unique. Yes, this to me, this actually shows that even a sheet of glass can be art. Yeah. Right? So it, Bullseye, the corporation that does this kind of thing, they have artists that create this kind of glass. And artists so, can use that to create even more to, unique art. Exactly. That kind of thing can inspire them to do whatever That's comes to mind. That's really exciting. Now, Jonathan, you yourself, you're a stained glass artist. Coming up next, we're going to work with Jonathan. He's going to show me exactly how to put together a stained glass piece. You won't want to miss that. But for now, you'll want to visit the website for more information, passionforglass.ca. CTV Morning Live, on location. 
I'm at Passion for Glass in the workshop now where they host classes. I'm joined by Jonathan. Jonathan, you are a stained glass artist and this is actually one of your pieces. Incredible work, but this piece, it's not just one form of glass art. You've right. mixed a, a couple actually. Yeah, this was like one of the powers of knowing kiln work is that mm -hmm. you can incorporate the kiln work into stained glass. And you can do things in, with the kiln that you can't do with the stained glass and vice versa. Perfect. And so. you're going to show us the basics. So yeah. uh, I'm going to set this uh, off to the side there. You have a pattern in front of you. Right. And this is the goal is to create Great. that basically. We start out with a pattern, which is what I've got drawn here. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we generally do is select the color of glass that we would like to use. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not going to be the right size and the right shape. So there's going to be some cutting involved and I'm just going to quickly too. mark where I need to cut and we will cut this now to the correct size at least close to the correct size if anything a little bigger is better because it's possible to grind it down if it's too big obviously we can't actually add glass if it's too small now, Jonathan, once we have cut it completely, it comes out like that. Now it's the same size. You got it. Amazing. You add the foil next. So the next thing is to add the foil, and I'm in the process of foiling right here. So copper foil is used, going to be used because we're going to solder all the pieces together. Solder doesn't stick to glass, but it mm. does to copper and we end up with exactly with something right like that. And now this, I love this because it's kind of like a puzzle. A stained yes. glass almost has a precision to it that it, is very unique. Definitely. If you like jigsaw puzzles, but you get frustrated <laughs> because a piece doesn't fit, get into stained glass because the neat thing is you just make it fit. You make it fit. That's a solution to everything. I exactly. love that. Exactly. So you can see the pieces are moving around a bit yeah. as I try and solder. But we cheat a little. I'm just dabbing some on here. You kind of get the idea yeah, think, from that. Yeah, it's a bit of science, it's a bit of art. We absolutely love this. Really exciting stuff. Thank you so much, Jonathan. You'll want to check Passion for Glass website for a list of all the classes that you can take, passionforglass.ca. CTV Morning Live, on location. Today I'm at Passion for Glass Art Gallery, but it's not just an art gallery, also offering tons of materials for glass artists and also workshops and classes for you to enjoy. I'm joined by founder Anna and also student Dolores. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We'll start with Dolores first. Dolores, what is it that you're working on? I'm working on a landscape. That's looking very, very beautiful. Now, you've been a student here for 10 years. How did you discover Passion for Glass? Oh, I was walking to yoga and I passed by a store and said passion for glass. I thought wow, what an interesting name and I walked in and met Anna. <laughs> and it was love at first sight. <laughs> you know it really was. It really was. I thought what a fascinating idea. This is 10 years ago so these weren't common stores mm -hmm. to find in your neighborhood. <laughs> and what's kept you coming back all these years? Always new projects, new ideas. Every time I you know, take a little break and I come back and there's a whole new thing happening. It's always exciting. You've become quite an artist yourself. In fact, the piece that you're wearing on your necklace, this is something that you created. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. It's very, very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Dolores. Now, Anna, in addition to classes, here at Passion for Glass, you also offer private bookings for private events, birthdays, corporate events as well. Absolutely. We do uh, have a corporate events up to 25 people. We do a private events, birthday party, and we also serve community. So we actually are mobile, so we will go up to the community if it's more than 25 people and we also serve schools so we have a school programs from kindergarten to grade 12 and even kindergarten can do it so I'm just gonna tell you a little little piece here and then uh, grade 6 can, can go quite extreme. That's amazing. So all of the pieces that you see here on the table, these are done by students and really, really nice uh, uh, takeaways. You know, it's so rewarding to be able to create something. Absolutely. Uh, keep uh, keep uh, forever. And then, you know, and then uh, probably you will always have a memory of coming for the class and making something with family, friends and um, and yourself. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. There you have it. You can check out all of the classes that are available on their website, passionforglass.ca.